Hello and welcome to the part 2 of the Industrial Engineering series. In this particular part, we will shed a light on the key pioneers of IE. Let's dive into it. In order to understand the impact deployed by the key pioneers, we will briefly understand the great work done by Frederick Taylor, Frank and Lillian Gilbreth, and other top gurus. Let us look into the great work of each titan one by one. While Frederick Whaler did not use the term industrial engineering in his work, his writings and talks are generally credited as being the beginning of the discipline. One cannot presume to be well versed in the origins of industrial engineering without reading Taylor's books, Shop Management and the Principles of Scientific Management. The core of Taylor's system consisted of breaking down the production process into its component parts and improving the efficiency of each component. With an abiding faith in the scientific method, Taylor's contribution to the development of time study was his way of seeking the same level of predictability and precision for manual tasks that he had achieved with his formulas for metal cutting. His work laid the foundation for a broader science of planning. His classic experiments in shoveling coal, which he initiated at the Bethlehem Steel Corporation in 1898, not only resulted in development of standards and methods for carrying out this task, but also led to the creation of tool and storage rooms as service departments, the development of inventory and ordering systems, the creation of personnel departments for worker selection, the creation of training departments to instruct workers in the standard methods, recognition of the importance of the layout of manufacturing facilities to ensure minimum movement of people and materials, the creation of departments for organizing and planning production, and the development of incentive payment systems to reward those workers able to exceed standard outputs. After Taylor, the biggest contributors are assumed to be the Gilbreth family. Consumed by a similar passion for efficiency, Frank Gilbreth's application of the scientific method to the laying of bricks produced results that were as revolutionary as those of Taylor's shoveling experiment. Frank and Lillian extended the concepts of scientific management to the identification, analysis, and measurement of fundamental motions involved in performing work. By applying the motion picture camera to the task of analyzing motions, they were able to categorize the elements of human motions into 18 basic elements or thurbulgs. This development marked a distinct step forward in the analysis of human work, for the first time permitting analysts to design jobs with knowledge of the time required to perform the job. In many respects, these developments also mark the beginning of the much broader field of human factors or ergonomics. Last but not the least, two other top gurus associated with the foundation work in accelerating IE momentum are Henry Gantt and Hugo Dimer. Although Gantt was considered by Taylor to be a true disciple, his disagreements with Taylor on several points led to the development of a task work with bonus system instead of Taylor's differential piece rate system and explicit procedures for enabling workers to either protest or revise standards. He was also interested in scheduling problems and is best remembered for devising the Gantt chart. Hugo Diemer started the first continuing curriculum in industrial engineering at Pennsylvania State College in 1908. We hope you would have enjoyed the quick overview of IE pioneers. In our next lesson, we will shed a light on the world wars and their impact on industrial engineering evolution. If you are an industrial engineering practitioner and interested in internationally accredited training, then feel free to check the links in the description below as we offer 20 plus trainings in Lean Six Sigma, ISO lead auditors, advanced data analysis, etc. domains. All of our trainings are accredited by International Lean Six Sigma Institute England and Exemplar Global United States of America.